WZDX presents an extra look at the hottest action from the world of sports. This is WZDX Sports Extra with Mo Carter, Charity Chambers, and Kayla Carlisle. Hey, thank you for joining us for the best 30 minutes of your Sunday evening. Welcome to the State Championship Basketball Edition. WZDX Sports Extra, Mo Carter, along with Charity Chambers and Kayla Carlisle. Yeah, the high school basketball season is officially over now, and tonight we have a packed show to prove it from 1A all the way to 6A. The Tennessee Valley, present they represented pretty well in the Final Four, wouldn't you say, guys? Absolutely. I would, I yeah. would absolutely agree with that. Let's go ahead and show you what's coming up on tap tonight. This week was a big one, like Charity said, for high school basketball across the state. We have all the highlights from our local teams who made it to the Final Four. And in just a few moment, moments, we'll show you who even brought home the blue map. In fact, one of those teams who did win it all is in studio with us tonight here from the 6A state champs, the Hazel Green Trojans, on their two-peat. And, of course, we will wrap the night up with our favorite segment, the best of the week. We may even have some knockouts within that. But first things first, the boys' class 3A title game featured a pair of local teams, Plainview and Westminster Christian. These two squads have been on a collision course for a while, finishing first and second in the final 3A polls. And on Friday, they played for all the marbles. Let's go down to Birmingham for all the action. Austin Leslie was trying to lead his team to a state title, while Plainview is one of our local teams trying to repeat. All right, so pick things up. Bears up by six. Wildcats still in it. Jada Landrum drives to the basket and makes it look too easy. And the Wildcats are down by four. And after that, get used to hearing this guy's name. Landrum was really the driving force behind a comeback. Once again, driving in the paint and scoring the layup. And guess what? He draws the foul and won. It's now 52 to 48. Wildcats possession. Austin Leslie tries to go behind, for behind the arc. He misses. But guess who's there? It's Landrum. He goes up and he's guess what he's going to do. He's going to score this bucket right here. Wildcats within two. Now. Leslie would be fouled, so he has a tie, chance to tie it, and he knocks down both free throws. Under 10 seconds to go, Tristan Willingham. We call this guy's name last year because he hit the game-winning three-pointer. This year, he hits the game-winning shot, and the Bears are the back-to-back 3A -back state champions, winning by a final of 54-52. to It goes back to our passing. Both those game winners have been perfect passes, and uh, it just – talks about the culture of our program and that we're willing to make the right play to win a game and these guys deserve it all. We just told hey, drive the ball, drive closeouts, attack the basket and that's what we started doing in the second half and I think we had a couple and ones there and got to the bucket some and got to the free throw line. It's been unbelievable how hard they work and the amount of time they put into it. It makes you really proud. All right, well congratulations to them. Over now to the 2A girls, the fight. Red Devils taking on Cold Springs. And we're going to start things off in the fourth quarter. Red Devils down, but Maggie Woodle with the steal. And she's going to pass it to her sister, Marie, who drains the three-pointer, put five within five points. Fast forward now, five trails, 44 to 39, but not for long. Maggie once again kicks it out to Marie, who is feeling it from downtown. Red Devils only down by two. Now we've got the same score this time. Alessia Barber hits the jumper to tie up the game. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going into overtime. Eagles get the ball first. Aubrey Negron to Neely Ellison, and she makes it rain cash money. And that was exactly what Cold Springs needed. Ellison starting to feel it now, though. She steals it, and on the fast break, she takes it down court, makes the layup, and this would end up being Cold Springs, who takes home the win 57-53. to But here's Fife's head coach, Steve King, on how he thought his team performed on the big stage. We fought like dogs. I mean, we fought back, tied the game up. Had a chance that little thing would have just rolled a little bit to the left at the end, but it didn't. So um, it's hard. It, it's tough. Everybody's upset and feeling bad, but we'll get over it. Now, state championship finals actually began Thursday with Class 1A action. Decatur Heritage was one of the first local teams who played for that blue map. And in order to bring home that map, they had to take on St. Lucie. St. Luke's Episcopal. Let's start things off in the third quarter. Eagles up 29 to 26, but the Wildcats cutting into that lead. Ja'Cory Jacobs with the bucket to put them within one. But this was the quarter where Decatur Heritage started to pull away. Jackson Kyle takes it himself, makes the bucket in traffic, put the Eagles up by eight. And they just started showing no mercy on them. Noah Bowler this time with the bucket to put them up by 12. But it was this play right here that really put the nail in the coffin. Clay Smith makes it rain from behind the arc. The players are going crazy after this. Now, do you know why they're so happy? It's because the first blue map for basketball is coming their way as they roll to a 63-42 win in the 1A title game. 
we felt like at the beginning of the year, the whole time that we can win. We from the first day that we started just summer workouts or just doing anything, we felt like we had a great summer. We've had great summers. We've had all these kids that bought in. Now that we're here, it's just I mean, it's unbelievable. We've been playing years together and we could only be here because of God. He's the one thing that put us all together. He's the reason we have such a strong bond together, and that's the reason that we made it this far. On that same evening, the Skyline girls taking on Phillips with a 1A state title for girls. Pick things up in the third quarter. Skyline up by four, barely us. Ursi extends the lead with a deep three, but Phillips, they were not backing down. These young ladies only have seven people on the team, and they are all ballers like this young lady, Misty Dishner, making it rain. That makes it 42 to 38. And of course, these girls are balling out. Kaylin Ledwell drives to the basket and makes a layup, putting the Vikings up by six. In the fourth quarter, though, Phillips will turn things around. You see they're down by one. Misty Dishner comes up with a steal, and she is taking that bad boy back. Coast to coast for the layup right there, putting Phillips on top by one. Later on, Phillips up by four because of some free throws, and Dishner once again with a steal, and that was the dagger for Phillips as they were able to knock off Skyline by final 71 to 63. I was going to be happy either way. I mean, we'd, we'd, we'd had a great season, you know, win 29 games and play in the state championship game. Plenty of coaches would love to be in this situation. And, and I couldn't ask for a better bunch of girls. They do everything I tell them to do and they, they live a rough life for a while. And I'm, I'm really excited for them and the community. All right, on Friday, a pair of teams from our western side of the state got a crack at winning a blue map in Class 4A. First up, the Lady Pirates from Rogers High School looking to take home their first state victory in school history. Rogers took on Aniston in their 4A title game, and to be honest, they came out to a hot start. Let's take you to the first quarter. Is Madeline Krieger, who is only a freshman who had put up 23 points, and she's actually your MVP of the game. There she is right now as she sinks the floater, and it was all Rogers this game. Third quarter, more from the MVP. She drives up the basket to make the layup, and Rogers takes home the 4A state title with a final score of 46 to 38. And here's head coach Blake Prestige after the big win. You can never count this team out. I told somebody that today. I would not bet against this team. I don't care who we're playing. It doesn't matter who we're playing. Um, we had a plan, and just as they always do, they go out and execute it perfectly. We held three um, to four points in the game, which was huge. Over now to the 4A boys, West Limestone taking on Talladega. Wildcats beat Booger T. Washington to advance to the finals. Fourth quarter, Talladega is up 44-38, to and they would add to it. Aaron Green with the pass down low to Rontavious Barclay, who puts it in for two. It was just all Tigers this one. Kobe Simmons on the fast break. He puts it up, misses it, but Barclay is right there. He misses it. Third time's a charm, though. Tigers take a commanding lead. West Limestone trying to get back into this window. Brandon Tutton. Passes it to Chase Carter. He's filling it from behind the arc. But guys, I got to tell you, it really just was all Talladega this one as they captured the 4A state title 60 to 48. All right, everyone, we are just getting started here on WZX Sports Section. When we return, um, we'll check out the other three local teams that were trying for a repeat. Would any of them be successful? We'll find out next on the X. ESPN Radio is 97.7 The Zone. Attention, Huntsville and surrounding areas. Lacey Boyd Furniture Gallery's factory authorized clearance sale is going on now. This is our largest sales event in history, and it won't last long. All quality furniture and accessories must be liquidated. Don't miss this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to save hundreds, even thousands. Nothing will be held back. Save big on sofas, sectionals, recliners, Kincaid bedroom and dining room sets, and more. Hurry in for the best selection. At Lacey Boyd Furniture Gallery's factory authorized clearance sale. Huntsville location only. We all want more for less, and Spectrum delivers. Spectrum TV has tons of HD, thousands of titles free on demand. Plus, your favorite sports channels are included. Direct TV Select doesn't include ESPN. And you have to get a cinema connection kit just to watch on demand. Plus, that ugly dish on your roof. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $89.98 a month. Call 833-231-8998. Spectrum Internet delivers starting speeds of 100 megabits. That's twice as fast as AT&T. 
for more of this, this, and that on all your devices all at once. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $89.98 a month. Call 833-231-8998. Best of all, with Spectrum, there are no contracts. We'll even buy out your current contract up to $500. Don't wait. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $89.98 a month. Plus, ask how you could save up to 40% on your wireless bill with Spectrum Mobile. Call 833-231-8998. Roadside attractions, and then there's our world famous on road attraction, the 2019 GLC, starting at 40,700. Mercedes Benz, the best or nothing. And now back to the action on WZDX Sports Extra. Welcome back. We already took a look at defending state champions Plainview play for another title. Now it's time to focus on some of the girl defending state champions, starting with Hazel Gray. The Trojans looking for that two-peat. They actually had quite an amazing season this year, hoping to top it all off with another state title as they took on the Opelika Bulldogs. Hazel Green got off to a fast start thanks to this girl, Marissa Snodgrass. She was just draining three after three in the first quarter. Fair Pearson also did some damage in the paint. She makes the bucket and draws the foul. Trojans lead 8-2. to two. Hazel Green actually went on a 12-0 run in the first quarter. Bulldogs trying to claw their way back into this one, though. Haley Sanders puts it in for the score, 14-6. to six. Opelika stops the Trojans' hot streak and goes on one of their own as Ananda Hughley drains the three to put the Bulldogs within five. And it's Hughley again who's feeling it from downtown. So now Opelika it was, is within three points. But, guys, this was as close as they would ever get to the Trojans because Hazel Green just starts to dominate again. This time it's Mackenzie Hill who's feeling it. She makes it rain cash money. Trojans went into the half with a 12-point lead, and they never looked back. Hazel Green cruises to victory, winning by over 20 points, 55-31, to 31, making them the back-to-back -back 6A state champions. And here's head coach Tim Miller after the win. This is probably one of the, one of the it's got to be up in the top somewhere, that best groups I've ever coached as far as attitude, work ethic, to what they give every day on and off the court in the classroom. It's a joy for me to have this group as, as a whole. We were doubted the whole season and to come back and win again back to back is a, is a great. All right, let's move down to 5A. But here's a scenario. Madison Academy, they won back-to-back -back titles in foray during the past two seasons. This year, they tried to get that 5A state title and, of course, do the same as they did in foray, which was dominated. Coach Alyssa Flowers' team taking on Central Tuscaloosa for the 5A crown on yesterday. They got off to a very sluggish start, only scoring 17 points in the first half. Falcons leading by 19 in the third as Kanaja Jones nails it from downtown, and she is cash money taken to the bank. But the Mustangs start to ease their way back in this one thanks to Libby Privet, who was making three after three in the fourth quarter. A little bit later, Jasmine Gracie, the UAB sign, he comes up with a steal. She throws it up to Jaden Langford on the fast break, and she gets the bucket. Gracie really was clutch on the day, a double-double, 12 points and 13 rebounds on the afternoon. But it was Privet's three that would pull the Mustangs to within four under two minutes to go. But uh, Madison Academy, they were just unable to claw all the way back. Central Tuscaloosa ends up claiming the 5A state championship by final 68 to 65, ending Madison Academy's quest for a three-peat. Let's hear from Alyssa Flowers. At halftime, we, I was, I was a little upset at them because I know this group and I know that th it was not that group <laughs> the first half of that game. And I'm just, I was like, where's my team, you know? Um, and I just looked at him and I said, you can dig yourself out of the hole. I'm super proud of my team. Um, they could have folded at the half. I think everybody knows that. And they didn't because that's the kind of team that they are. All right, well, we continue this roller coaster of wins and losses with our 3A girls. Now, the reigning 3A state champs, the Pisgah Eagles, finished the regular season with only one loss, and we're hoping to keep it that way on Friday. The six time state champs taking on Montgomery Academy, and we're going to go and take you in the third quarter. Pisgah leads, but Montgomery Academy cutting into that, though, as Leeton Robertson steals the ball, and that'll make for an easy bucket. Look at the nice hook shot there. Pisgah leads by four. 
On to the fourth quarter now, 33-28, to and here's the leading scorer of the night, the Auburn commit, Annie Hughes, draining it from behind the arc. What a player she is. And Pisgah really starting to pull away now. Chloe Womack with the steal. She's going to take it down court for the layup, and that shot would actually put them up by 10 points. And Montgomery Academy tried to make the comeback, but Pisgah was just too much for them to handle as they pull out the win 46-41, to making them back-to-back -back 3A state champions. We achieved our goal, and we've been hunted all year. It's been uh, pretty much the challenge since we left this room last year. We got so many people returning, uh, and it was the expectation of winning. And it was been uh, a lot of pressure. They've handled it so well. I think mostly because they just didn't talk about it. Super proud for these girls. They deserve it. So huge congrats to the Pisca Eagles. Well, you saw how the Hazel Green Trojans achieved the two-peat as well, so what better way to celebrate than to have them join us here in studio. We have head coach Tim Miller, senior Jalen Johnson, Destiny Cross, and Marissa Snodgrass in the house. You don't want to miss this interview. Stay with us. Your local source for breaking news 24-7 is RocketCityNow.com. What makes Hardy's breakfast taste so great? We only use the best ingredients made by the best hands. I wonder what else those hands can do. Ooh, new coffee. Whoa, Try our new yeah. coffee. Hardy's because it tastes better. Need extra money? LKQ Pick Your Part is paying good money for your used vehicle. We are constantly updating our inventory and will pay you for your car or truck. LKQ is always buying cars and trucks. Get top dollar today for your used vehicle at LKQ Pick Your Part. Think your vehicle is worth nothing? Think again. Call 1-800-962-2277 today. That's 1-800-962-2277. And make this a good year for you and your wallet. If you come to Arby's from 2 to 5 p.m., you can get crispy fried mozzarella sticks for a buck. For another buck, you can get a slider or a drink. And for the low, low price of another buck, you can round out this afternoon snack with warm cookies or a shake. It's really a meal at this point, but call it a snack. That way you can come back for dinner. Arby's, we have the meat for sandwiches. Success for every student. We are Calhoun Community College. From our humble beginnings in the 1940s to the largest two-year college in Alabama, Calhoun brings together quality and affordability to meet the educational and training demands for our high-tech area. Calhoun has options for everyone. Earn your degree in two short years. Get a certification in just a few months. Take classes that transfer. Your success story starts right here at Calhoun Community College. What makes Hardy's breakfast taste so great? We only use the best ingredients made by the best hands. I wonder what else those hands can do. Ooh, new coffee. Whoa, Try our new yeah. coffee. Hardy's because it tastes better. And now back to the action on WZDX Sports Extra. Welcome back to WZDX Sports Extra. Before the break, we actually showed you guys how the Hazel Green Trojans cruised to yet another victory in the state title game. And now we have them joining us here today. We're here with head coach Tim Miller, Destiny, Marissa, and Jalen. How are you guys feeling? Huge win. Feels great. Feels great. Yeah. <laughs> so, girls, how does it feel winning back-to-back -back state titles? Amazing. Amazing? It's a great feeling. Yeah. How is, how is it playing under Coach Miller? We kind of know history is kind of a big deal here at Alabama in high school basketball. What it's like, what is it like playing for him? He's a tough coach. He's hard on us, but and then it's all worth it. So. It's intense, but he always brings out the best in you, so it's worth it. Now, Coach, I kind of want to ask you, what do you kind of credit your success to? You've won six state titles here in Alabama. Just what do you credit your success to? Well, I've been fortunate over my career to have good players, good kids, you know, that want to that want to buy in and, and, and do what we ask them to do on and off the court. When you get good kids and good parents to buy in, you win a bunch of basketball games. Yeah, and you guys didn't just beat the last team by a couple of points. You guys really put a look <laughs> on them. What kind of makes this team so special, maybe even different from teams in the past? 
Well, this group, all they heard from last spring and summer was we weren't going to be able to get back to the Final Four state championship. So they had a chip on the shoulder all season long, wanting to prove everybody that they could do it themselves. They had a motto this year, this is our time. This is our time to two-peat. So every time we broke it down in a huddle, practice, before a game, halftime, after the game, that was our motto, our, our time to peat. And this young lady sitting right here would always say it as loud as she could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you guys did it. You did the two-peat. What does it feel like you guys are all seniors, the only three seniors on the team? What does it feel like going out on top? It's great. I mean, that was that's our goal. So we just hope we can get it again. Now I know, Marissa, you were the MVP of the state tournament. So just tell me a little bit about your performance. Just not even in the state title game, but just throughout the whole tournament itself. Um, it's like having a team like I do to support me. It always makes it easier just to go out and do my best. And they're always behind me whether I do good or do bad. So. It was comforting to know I had a team behind me. So, Coach, just tell me a little bit about how proud you are of this team. And I mean, you still have, these are your only three seniors, so but, years to come, seems like the future's pretty bright for you guys. Well, they were already talking in the locker room after the game, you know, the ones coming back. You know, these, these three are telling the rest of them, hey, I got to go do it again. So, you know, they're already talking about that again. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see, see how it goes. We got some good kids coming back. It's going to lay it out there just like these, these young ladies did. So. It's going to be fun to see. Are you going to load up the schedule like you did this year? <laughs> that was that was the toughest schedule I've ever had as a head coach, you know, what we put them through. So I wanted to put them through that just to test them as much as we could for our run in the playoffs. Yeah. When so I, it, 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 was, it was fun to watch. I was going to say, yeah, when I t tell everybody about your story, I kind of talk about the caliber of teams you guys played throughout the regular season and how tough it was. As players, tell me a little bit about what that schedule was like and even before the preseason, looking at the schedule, kind of what was going through your head? We knew it was going to be tough with the teams that we had to play, but we just knew we had to play hard. So it always kept us on our toes and let us know we could never relax or be stagnant or content where we were. It helped us keep getting better. And Coach was saying that he was doing that in hopes of preparing you guys for the playoffs. I'm, it didn't help. <laughs> Pay it off, right? <laughs> Well, Coach, anything else you want to add? Oh, no, I'm just proud of these young ladies. I'm proud uh, for the for the, our whole program, our school, uh, everybody who supported us. You know, it's, just, it's been a great, great season. It's been very enjoyable. Thank you, Coach and girls, for joining me today. All right, that does it for this segment of WZDX Sports Extra. But stay with us. We'll be right back. Mike and Molly, weeknights at 5 on WZDX. Choosing between the next level or the next episode? Make it easy and choose WOW. Get our super fast internet for $39.99 a month when bundled with our most popular TV package for just $45 more per month. Get choice. Get value. Get WOW. I've always been healthy, but after my wreck, at Peter's wedding, I realized I had to make a drastic change, so I joined Workout Anytime. They have the equipment to help me continue my physical therapy, and they're convenient to my health. I'm back down to 190 pounds, and I'm stronger than ever. I'm thrilled with my results. When you're ready to take on your adversity, join Workout Anytime. They're here for me and you, 24-7. Join in January for only $1 enrollment. Visit us online to find a location near you. At Troy University, we offer military students more than just flexibility and convenience. We offer top-ranked programs that are an investment in your future. And like the military, you'll be part of something a powerful network of more than 158,000 alumni worldwide. And we will be with you all the way. Proudly serving our military since 1950, Trojan Warriors, one and all. Attention, Huntsville and surrounding areas. Lacey Boyd Furniture Gallery's factory authorized clearance sale is going on now. This is our largest sales event in history, and it won't last long. All quality furniture and accessories must be liquidated. Don't miss this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to save hundreds, even thousands. Nothing will be held back. Save big on sofas, sectionals, recliners, Kincaid bedroom and dining room sets, and more. Hurry in for the best selection. At Lacey Boyd Furniture Gallery's factory authorized clearance sale. Huntsville location only. Choosing between the next level or the next episode? Make it easy and choose WOW. Bundle super fast internet with our most popular TV package, starting at just $84.99 a month. Get choice, get value, get WOW. And now back to the action. 
on WZDX Sports Extra. Well, sports fans, we're officially done with high school basketball for the night and for the season. So it's time to wrap things up with the best of the week. Charity, you weren't with us last week, right. so you get a chance to go first this week. I appreciate you guys. My best of the week is actually pretty hilarious to me. An NHL coach answers a reporter's phone call during a press conference. Take a look. Uh, yeah, but I... I... Hi, this is John Tortorella. I'm in the middle of a press conference here, and you're... you're no, that's okay. I'd rather talk to you than your husband. I mean, your son. So, um, well, I'll be done in about five. I've seen you call a few times, so it's, it's rude. Of, it's rude of yeah. He's rude of him not to call you back, but he's busy right now. <laughs> Guys, this is the Columbus Blue Jackets head coach, John Tortorella. We've been in countless press conferences ourselves. I tell you right now, I would die of left laughter if this ever happened to one of us. You know what I mean? I would too. My dad would love that. Thing. <laughs> yeah, <you gotta laughs> talk to a coach. Right, like, like Nick Saban just do it. Yeah. Like, can oh, you imagine? Oh, man. I don't think Nick Saban would be answering that call. I don't think so. <laughs> he would not answer that call. He would probably notice who had put it down and then call them out later on. <laughs> that is Tuck true. That phone to the side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I agree. Well, let's go ahead and move on to my best of the week. This one um, actually kicks off the 46th Iditarod race up in Alaska and honestly the reason I made this my best of the week is because it's not very often that we get to talk about it's kind of a race on our show and here's some quick facts on how it works for those of you who don't know there's 52 mushers this year participating they start in Anchorage Alaska and they'll travel to multiple stops totaling over a thousand miles where they'll finish in Nome Alaska and roughly it takes anywhere between 9 and 19 days to complete the entire race so you know good luck to all the mushers out there and their teams but I think it's pretty interesting because you don't really get to see that down here in Huntsville you don't <laughs> have no. races. That's it it cool. looks like reindeer pulling Santa Claus to me. That's what it looks like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, All right. I knew about the idea of ride. I actually had an elementary school teacher from Alaska, and he actually used to talk about the idea of oh, ride cool. all the time. Yeah. It was either Ooh. Iditarod ride or land of the midnight sun where we would have to go to baseball games that were at midnight, but it still had the full sun out there. Oh, wow. That's this cool. is, I'm learning a lot of stuff right now. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> all right, let me hook you up with mine. Now, during the post-game festivities of the Carolina Hurricanes hockey game, the lights suddenly went black in the arena. A spotlight was pointed to the Hurricanes ton. And out comes boxing legend, the real deal, Evander Holyfield. He had a score to settle with Jordan Martin. <laughs> and guess what? You just don't mess with the real deal. Evander Holyfield knocks him out in just one punch right there. And look, they've got to drag <laughs> out oh in that aspect. I mean, granted, I know it's all for fun and games, but considering the fact that, you know, it was the real deal, Evander Holyfield, Plus the fact that look how big those boxing gloves yeah. are on him. So it, you know that probably, you know, he probably took one on the it, chin really. I was going to say, good. it may have actually Damn, got him hurt. Is. Like, I think that, that's legit. Like, I, was I think saying, that not hurt. to mention the other guy's got skates on. True. Yeah. Unfair advantage there. That yeah. Really I think that hurt. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, everyone, we want to thank you for joining us on another edition of WZDX Sports Section for the entire sports team. We want you guys to have a great week. If you're heading anywhere to celebrate Mardi Gras, be safe out there. We'll see you next week with postseason college basketball. Oh, yeah. We're done with high school, though. <laughs> have yourself college. a good night. <laughs>